Hey girls, here I am at work. Um, I just got a minute or two and I was thinking, um, the Lord just showed me something about barns today <laughs> and wealth. And so um, I'm reading on my computer, I'm reading from uh, Proverbs, I think it's uh, 310. And nine, it says, honor the Lord with your wealth, with the fruits, first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing and your vats will brim over with new wine. So that's a really cool thing, you know, and, and I look at that as not only tithing, because that's just really important part of being a Christian and part of our, you know, what the Lord would want from us, because the first fruit is not ours. You know, it's just <laughs> given us to sort of prove ourselves, you know, how much we love them and how obedient we can be. But also, you know, it's the first time of your day and, you know, your first thoughts and, and there's so many other first things. So, um, but anyway, I was thinking about, <laughs> um, you know, when I go shopping, I go and I gather all this stuff, you know, I think I need some more clothes, I think I need some groceries, and I think I need some paper goods and all this stuff, you know, and I load up my <laughs> my trunk, and then I got to bring it, load it, you know, just drag it all in the house, I got to organize it all, I got to put it all away, you know, um, and then, you know, if I bought some plants, a lot of times I'll buy plants, and then I got to go... Uh, and then I got to go plant them. And then if I buy uh, paper goods and stuff and I go to put them away and don't you find that you've already got, you know, uh, five other more rolls of toilet paper that you've got you had, you know. And um, But anyway, so my point is, is sometimes I think I need more stuff and all it's doing is causing me more trouble. You know, instead of just going home and resting, taking a nap, you know. And sometimes you get home and you see that you've got stuff that you've already, you don't really have a need like you think. You know, sometimes if I bypass that shopping time, you know, I'll say, I've already got stuff, you know. And so then you just read a good book, you take a nap, you do, you know, you do something for yourself. But, you know, in um, Luke twelve eighteen, this guy, you know, he filled up all his barns and then he had more, you know, stuff than what his, the present barns could hold. So we thought, well, I'll just, you know, build bigger barns, you know. And so sometimes people have a little house and they're not content and they buy a bigger house. And what happens? It's kind of like the boat thing, you know. <laughs> it's all, all you do is just work on the boat. And, or do, you know, then you buy more land and then you got more work to do, you know. So um, so it's it's hard to just, you know, just relax and let God just run your life, you know. Let him take control of your life and let him do what he would have to do. One of the things that God has blessed me with is when I, uh, you know, I had this bill paying at my bank, you know, and they just, I, you know, it, it goes straight from, you know, wherever I get my income from. Uh, and I have three different incomes and they go slam right into the bank. And then I've got to set it up where the bank pays all my bills. And I, some of them I do different ways, but... I just, every once in a while, I check my bank account and see where all my stuff's going. <laughs> you know, whereas I used to spend hours writing checks and balancing a checkbook and doing all this stuff, you know. Uh, and so it's really been a less of a burden. And it's just, and I look at it as a blessing from the Lord, you know. And so, um, but anyway, I think we need to simplify our lives and think about that. That's just on my mind today. I'm going to figure it <laughs> I'm going to work on simplifying my life even more, you know, where we can um, spend more time to listening to what God would have us to do. And maybe it isn't always something that's, uh, you know, we think of what we need, like, you know, what does the Lord say about don't worry what, what you eat and what you wear, you know, because he takes care of the birds in the air. And so, you know, let's just kind of be easy on yourself today, you know, and just take it easy. And don't stress and kind of let, you know, let the Lord just take control of your life today because, you know, I love you guys, but Jesus loves you so much more. See you later. Bye.